Chikanendis, we find ourselves yet again discussing the vandalism at Bernard Park where the netball courts are. This must be getting a tedious time for the Department of Youth Sport and Recreation, let alone netball. They haven't started this season yet, but it must be a bit frustrating for the Department of Youth Sport and Recreation. Yeah, um, it's been a frustrating time. Um, We've had a vandalism there once a month since June. So we had one June 27th, there was another one July 25th, there was another one August 21st, and there was one today, September 14th. So it's becoming a little more frequent, too frequent for my liking and it's, it's costing the department a lot of money to, to repair and, and try to maintain the courts. This one here that has been brought to my attention is a bit of uh, homophobic in regards to what was painted on the ground. Y- your view on this person taking this stand? Yeah, I don't know. It was some derogatory comments, political and sexually oriented responses on the courts. That's not stuff that we want to see written anywhere in the world, but you know, I, I I don't, I don't know what's going on in people's heads and why they are targeting the netball courts, but you know, it's getting frustrating. I know we're trying to put some additional lighting down at the facility and some additional cameras to hopefully act as a deterrent for uh, these would-be vandals, but will, they, will that really work? Time will tell once we install it. Where does the department go from here, and what message do you have for the general public to just be vigilant of anyone in and around that area? Yeah, message to the public, if you know anything or know anyone who is doing this, you know, just bring them forward, we can have a discussion. Also, you know, the department, like I said, we're looking to stop this because it costs money to repair the courts. Obviously with that stuff that's been spray painted on the courts, I would then have to, you know, get it probably resurfaced, repainted, you know, and it's it's the taxpayers' dollars that's really paying for this at the end of the day. So yeah, hoping that with the installation of new lighting and cameras on the court that will act as a deterrent for these people who are doing this vandalism.